Welcome to the Rider Realty Podcast. Many times buyers and sellers coming into the market don't know what to expect, have lots of questions, and don't know where to turn. That's where we come in. We want to be a resource to teach you the ins and outs of real estate to help you be more informed, more comfortable, and feel confident that you've picked the right realtor. So sit back and enjoy today's content. Years ago, my mom told me the story about her cousin. He had bought a property in the country to put a manufactured home on, and they were excited. The home was going to be brand new. Um, It would have that new home smell, be completely updated since it's new, and they had finally found land in the school district they wanted to be in, which is not easy because even though it is a rural school district, it's really hard to find land because farmers didn't want to break up their land, and it was just, it had taken time. He was excited because their kids were going to be second generation in that school, and he loved his alma mater. He was loyal. Now, I want to say my guess is that it was more loyal to the sports programs than it was to, say, the academics or the teacher or even the community, although the community definitely has, you know, school pride and they love their school. But I think this might have been more of a sports thing, but regardless, it doesn't matter. So anyway, my cousin bought this property and then they found out that their property was not in the school district of their choice, and they were crushed. Now, they knew the property was close to the edge of the neighboring district, and they thought it was right on the line, as in the last or next to last property before you got to the neighboring school district. And they asked. They asked to make sure, and they were told, yes, it's in the school district that you want to be in. And since at this time, open enrollment was not really a thing, which is much more popular today, Their kids did not become second generation in the school he was hoping they would attend, which was his alma mater, but rather they went to the neighboring school district that he was trying to avoid. Not to avoid because it was a terrible school district. It was just because it wasn't the one that he was hoping his kids would go to just like he did. But did you catch what I said in that last statement or maybe a couple sentences ago? Here's the thing. They asked. They knew that the home or the property, I guess, because they hadn't put their home on it yet, but they knew the property was close to the line. So they asked before buying and they were told that it was where they wanted to be. Now, I was young when I heard the story. I'm saying upper elementary school or middle old enough that I kind of understood the concept or I did understand the concept of school district and like wanting to be in a certain place and mascots and all the things that go along with your school. But I can't tell you if they bought it for sale by owner or they bought it by a realtor. But here's what I can tell you. In either scenario, you as the buyer always want to verify it. And one thing to do that makes it so much easier today is technology. You might be able to to Google it or find it that way. There are other ways to find it. And we'll talk about that. I'll mention those things at the end of the podcast. But just remember to verify. I'm going to give you some information here, just kind of a story part to it. Um, I am a member of two different MLS systems, and they're actually in two different states. One requires that the agents put the school system in. So in that case, it's just asking you for the school district. So like um, I went to, I graduated from Orville High School. So if it was a house I listed in Orville, I would put under there, it says school district, and it will actually say Orville City Schools. It doesn't break it down into elementary. Um, Actually, right now, they only have one elementary, one middle school, one high school. But when I was growing up, they had several elementaries. It doesn't break it down by that. It just says the school district. The second MLS system that I belong to doesn't require the school district to be listed, which I find surprising because so many people do ask about school district, whether it be because, like my cousin, they want to be in the district that they grew up in, or whether it's because they've looked at school, things the schools offer from academics to sports to testing, whatever that might be, but they don't require it to be listed. And so about half of the time it isn't because every day I look at the MLS with new listings and I'll scroll down. It's kind of more of a curiosity thing at this point. Like, is it going to have the school district or not? 
And I've noticed that sometimes when it is listed, it is completely wrong. I've seen elementaries listed with a high school that's not even in the same school district, or maybe it's actually all, it's all the same. So they have the right elementary with the right middle, with the right high school, but it's actually in a completely different school district. Now, if they do put it in, most of the time it's right, but every day I'm going to see at least one that has something listed wrong. So again, let's talk about verifying. As a buyer, if this matters to you, then I would and strongly then I would strongly encourage you to verify it. And maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. But I know that if you're wanting to be like my cousin where you continue your family in the same school, it would matter. Perhaps you are new in the area and you know you're transferring somewhere and you've done your research and you like certain schools for whatever reason. Again, it could be um programs or academics or sports that they offer that might be what you're looking for, you want to verify that because it is way easier to buy a house than it is to sell in terms of what do you do, right? So for my cousin, it was not that easy to say, okay, I'm going to sell the house so I can get into the district I want to be in. I realize that agents can make mistakes and no one is perfect. And that's why I'm just encouraging you that even though it should be posted correctly and Shame on the agent for not verifying or double checking. People make mistakes. I make mistakes. Um, And so I think it's just best for you as a buyer to verify if there is any, any doubt. An easy way to do that is to call the school district, or there are also websites where you can put an address in and verify the school system. I actually did not know that. My husband told me that. So I'm telling you, double check that, verify that that's correct. But, um, and even, you know, that site may not have everything correct, but the school district, if you call them and give them an address, they will know if that is correct. Now, please keep in mind, what I don't want you to do is call a school and give them 10 or 20 addresses. I don't want you to give them five. I want you to make sure that, you know, a couple places that you're really sure about that you would be interested in and where they are might be confusing. So if it's in the middle of an allotment in the middle of the school district or it's in the middle of an an allotment maybe towards the side of the school district, but five houses have been for sale on the street and all in the same school, you might not want to verify it. Although, again, if it's important to you, do it. But if it's a a place that has like weird... um, lines or maybe one side of the street is one school district and one is the other. Um, Or if you're not from the area and you're really confused by how it is drawn up, then definitely call the school. That would be probably, I don't know if you call the high school, probably the board of education to verify that. So that is what I want to tell you guys this morning. I've just been seeing this so much every day on the MLS where, again, they're either not listing it or it's wrong that I thought, okay, I know that that can matter to a lot of people. And so I thought that was important to point out to you that just because information is on the MLS does not always make it accurate. In fact, some MLSs will print out at the bottom, like this information is not guaranteed, is supposed to be accurate, but not guaranteed because we all can make mistakes. We all do make mistakes. So I would definitely verify that um, if that's something that matters to you. and. If I can help you at all to figure that out or to know if a house is in your school district or um, you have any other questions that I can help you out with, I am happy to do that. And again, even if I tell you something, you still want to verify it. But the whole idea of this podcast is buyer, verify, verify. And I hope that you have a great day. That's it for today. Thanks for listening. If there's anything we can help you with, please reach out. All of our contact information is on the show notes. Have a blessed day.